Now that your members are in the system, let's talk about all the tools available for you to work with your members. All the tools are available on the manage screen. So you can go to manage and click on manage or click on manage officer dashboard and it will take you to the officer slash advisor dashboard. Here across the top of the screen, you'll be able to see all the different tools available to you. The first is events. You do have your own event calendar inside of the FBLA Connect system just for your school. So you can click on add event and you'll be able to add an event to the calendar. Simply enter your event. So this could be a meeting or it could be a community service project, however you'd like to set these up. This meeting will be next Tuesday um, from six to seven. And then here, requirement credits. So you, this is where you'll be able to tag what kind of event this is and what kind of credit should be applied to each member who attends your event. So we'll click add a requirement credit and we'll say you'll get one uh, point of meeting in added to your profile. So this, as you can tell, is going to be able to record attendance at your events and all of those records will be contained inside of the, each person's profile. So if this were a meeting, you'd select that. If this were a service project, you'd be able to select service hour, uh, maybe one or two service hours, however your events are. There are lots of advanced options. Uh, we won't go through those today, uh, but you can feel free to look through those on your own time. When we click add calendar event, it says the uh, event has been posted to the calendar. So if we go and click on events, we'll be able to see our event calendar and our meeting that we've created on next Tuesday is showing up here in this orange color for meetings. If you created other types of events, they would be color coded differently. And if you wanna create additional types of events, different categories, you can do so underneath manage member requirements and member requirements are synonymous with event types. So you can assign that each member must attend so many of these types of events if you don't have requirements, you can enter zero for all of those just to create a new category to use on your event calendar. So here's another link, manage event types right here above your event calendar. All right, let's go back to the officer dashboard. And next up is email tool. So you're able to email all the members in your system. So if you've used other email marketing platforms in the past, uh, you no longer need to export your email addresses and import them into another system. You can do all of your emailing within the FBLA Connect system. So you'll click on email and from here you'll see a lot of different options to be able to send emails to subscription lists or to individuals saved audiences. So a subscription list is a list that starts empty and your members can opt in. Saved audiences are ways to message a subset of your database. And so this is typically what you'll do is uh, go in the top right hand corner and click compose email. And here you will determine who you want to message. So if you want to message just the officers and advisors for a leadership update, you can select officers and advisors of your school and then continue. If you want this to be an all member message, you can include the active members. Uh, and if you wanted this to be an alumni newsletter, you can select only alumni. So once you've selected the members that you want, you'll go ahead and say continue, and then it'll show you how many members are about to be messaged. And then you can say um, chapter update as an example, as your subject line, and then save and compose email. Here you'll be uh, shown two different options, the rich text editor, which is like a Gmail, Yahoo, AOL kind of com composer. And then on the right hand side, you'll be able to see the advanced visual designer. So if you're doing a newsletter, if you want to add graphics and do a two column layout, you can use our advanced visual designer. So either one's available for you, or you can start from a template. Here you can see a template that's been created by the FBLA National Center for you to be able to start from. So if you click on the template, it will configure your system with a, a logo at the top and your story in the middle and you can add to this so you can click on the component here and then modify your email on the right hand side once you've modified this you can say dear we do have merge tags so you can say dear full name and then add your uh, message here don't forget to click save and update to update the preview area in the middle once that is updated you'll then be able to close these panels and 
click preview email to move to the next step. All emails do have analytics attached, so you'll be able to see the number of emails sent, opened, open percentage, and if emails were not able to be delivered, you'll see an error report from those members that did not receive the email. Back to the officer dashboard, we can move to the next tool, which is SMS. So just like the email system, you can send text messages to your members as long as they have their phone number added to their profiles, and this will allow you to send urgent messages. It's the same experience where you'd say compose SMS, select your members that you'd like to select, and then um, send the message out. The next is the announcements tool. The announcements tool allows you to pin an announcement to the top of the screen. Pinning an announcement to the top of the screen is just another tool in your toolbox to be able to announce anything that is timely. I would recommend only pinning an announcement for a week maximum so that your members don't get numb to seeing the announcement posted for a very long time. So when you go into the announcements area, you can post an announcement. You'll be able to put the title of the announcement, the body of the announcement, and then when you want this to show. So maybe I'll schedule this for next week to hide on the end of that week, Monday to Friday, and this announcement will then be posted. The announcements look like purple banners, just like this one. Sign up for FBLA Connect training sessions. So this announcement has been posted by the National Center. Uh, you'll be able to see and filter who sees these announcements when you create them. The announcements that you create will only be visible from your chapter's portal. Going back to the officer dashboard, we'll move to the next one, which is files. Here you'll have your own file storage area. So if you're using other online file storage systems, you can move your files here just to have everything in one place. The benefit of this file storage system is that you can apply privileges based on their status. So if you want to have an officer's own, an advisor's only folder, you may do so and all the files contained inside this folder will only be visible to officers and advisors. Next academic year, you may have a different set of officers and you don't need to remember to remove privileges and add privileges, seeing that this folder is based on status and not a person's name. If you do have a lot of files in an external uh, file storage area, that's fine. You can also add links here as well. So you can upload documents here, you can link to external files from here, and then you can communicate to your members that all of your resources are in one place, regardless of where they're actually saved. For your information, you can tab over to the Shared by National Office tab, and here is official information uploaded by the FBLA National Center to assist in running a chapter. So there are one folder per officer position, so you can look into your folder to see if there's any resources dedicated to your role. And then at the bottom are general resources available for collegiate, high school, middle school advisors you may want to look into these folders for additional resources. All right, let's go back to the officer dashboard and move to the next tool. The next tool after files is the ability to create forms. Forms, if you use an external system uh, like Google Forms, JotForm, Wufu Forms, you no longer need to. We have a full form editor inside of FBLA Connect. So you click on forms and you'll be able to create these different kinds of forms. We have member forms and public forms. Member forms are where you want one submission per member and they must log in to access the form. Public forms are public to the internet so you can share this link externally and anyone who has the link can fill that form out. When you create a form, you'll be able to add the form title, description, and then define who can see this form. So if this should be only filled out by officers as an officer update form, you can do so. You can hide the form and show it later. You can hide the form after a certain date. And then you can also assign a deadline. This form must be completed by the end of the month. And I want this shown immediately. And I'm not gonna hide the form and accept late submissions. If you don't accept late submissions, you'll hide the form on the same date that it closed, that it's due, which is the end of the month. You can also have anonymous forms if you'd like and then you'll be able to add all of your questions. For answer formats, we support text, paragraph, date, phone number, email address, mailing address, multiple choice, checkbox. 
single member lookup from your chapter's roster, multiple member lookup, and file upload. So it's a great way to uh, collect documents, photos, or anything that you might need from all of your members. You can add section breaks and then more questions and then reorder them however you need. If a form has a due date and it's within one week, it will appear on the member's homepage in a red box, letting them know that they have a form that's almost due and they need to fill it out. Otherwise, the forms will show underneath more forms and they will be able to view the list of all the available forms they have for them to be able to fill out at any time. Let's go back to the officer dashboard and review the final tool. So the courses tool we've already mentioned before, and this is where you'll be able to pull the progress reports for your members uh, doing any of the FBLA programs like the merit program or the VAA. That's where you'll be able to pull those progress reports. And then the minutes area is where you'll be able to post meeting minutes. So you can go into the minutes area and from each meeting, whether it's a full chapter meeting or just officer meeting and advisor meeting, you can post those meeting minutes and then opt to share or not share or determine your sharing options when you post your meeting minutes. With that, that is a summary of all of the tools available for your chapter to use. Lots of tools at your fingertips. Uh, so thank you for your attention.